Okay, so we've got a problem here that is really interesting. And um, so it's, so first of all, I'm gonna um, share my screen and I'm gonna show this sort of, um, let's see here. Okay, so let me close this. So we've got this spacing for an E. coli protein. It says the E. coli bacterium has three times 10 to the six proteins. The bacterium itself can be modeled as a one micrometer diameter, two micrometer long cylinder. Estimate the spacing between the protein molecules. To do so, suppose that each protein sits at the center of a sphere of radius R and that the total volume of all these spheres is the volume of the bacterium. Then the spacing between two proteins is 2R and the distance from the center of one sphere to the center of an adjacent but touching sphere is gonna be 2R. And this is an estimate, not a precise calculation, but it'll give you the right order of magnitude for the spacing between the protein molecules. So what we wanna do is we wanna figure out if we have a bacterium that's shaped like a cylinder, it's got some volume, how many little proteins that are all assumed to be the same size, like little marbles, will fit inside of this bacterium? So we'll start by drawing um, a picture of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, open up a new whiteboard here. Okay, so we got a whiteboard and then I'm going to draw a picture of this. So we've got our bacterium, oops, wrong thing there. So we've got our bacterium and it's got a cylinder. It's got a, a radius of big R and the big R is equal to one half of the diameter. So one half and the diameter was given as one micrometer. So it's gonna be one half of one micrometer. And so that's gonna be, R is gonna be uh, 0 0.5 micrometers then. Okay. So then we've got that, and then it's got a length to it. It's a cylinder, but it's got a length, and the length is um, two micrometers long. Okay. So, and then within this cylinder, we've got like three times 10 to the six proteins. So I'll just draw these proteins, and we assume that they're like spheres where they can they can get like this close to each other, but they can only ever get a distance, like from the distance from one center to the next is two little r, where the little r, if I just zoom in a little bit on two of these, little r is the distance between the center of this one and this, this one here, that's two r, little r is just like this. It's like the radius of this little sphere. Okay, so what I have to do is I have to set this volume of this one single bacterium equal to the volume of this um, all of these proteins of which there's three times 10 to the six of them and they're all shaped like little spheres. So um, first I'm gonna figure out what's the volume of this cylinder. Well, a volume is the same thing as an area of a shape times a length. So the area of this is going to be pi r squared. So we're going to have area pi big R squared. And then we have times length L. That's the length of my cylinder. That's going to be area or volume, I should say, volume of bacterium. And then the actual... Um, that volume is going to be equal to the number of proteins, three times 10 to the six, um, but each one has a volume that's the volume of a sphere. And the volume of a sphere, I'll just use a little subscript S for sphere, that's going to be four thirds 
times pi times little r cubed. Okay, so then now we know how to set up our equation. Our equation is gonna be pi times big R squared, where big R squared is the radius of the, of the cylinder, times the length of the cylinder, and that's gonna be equal to the number of proteins, three times 10 to the six, three times 10 to the six, times the volume of each individual, um, each individual protein, which has a volume of four thirds pi times little r cubed. And then if we look at this equation, we realize that we actually only have one unknown, which is the little r. We know big R because the diameter of it was one micrometer. So big R is going to be half of that 0 0.5 micrometers. And then L, that's two micrometers. So we find our volume here. And by the way, pi is in both of these expressions. So we can just cancel that out it's on both sides and then plug in these numbers. And then we divide R squared L, divide that by three times 10 to the six times four thirds. And then we take the cube root of that and that's gonna be R, but that's gonna be in micrometers. And we actually want to convert this into nanometers for our answer. So whatever answer we get for this, we're gonna ultimately wanna multiply it by like a thousand so that we get, um, the answer in nanometers. So let's try this. Let's see what we get if we actually multiply. So we have 0 0.5 squared times two. So what's that gonna get us? So let's see. So we have 0 0.5 squared. And then, so that's 0 0.25 times two is one half. So um, this side is one half, one half of a, uh, whoops, one half of a micrometer cubed. And then that's gonna be divided by four thirds times three times 10 to the sixth. So we're gonna have four thirds times three times 10 to the power of six. Okay. So that's just gonna be four times 10 to the six because the three on top cancels with the three time on the bottom. So we've got, uh, four times 10 to the six. So we've got one half of a micrometer cubed. So micrometer cubed divided by um, four times 10 to the six. And that's equal to R cubed. Okay. So what do we get for that? So we're going to have one half. And then that's divided by four times 10 to the power of six. Okay. So that's gonna be 1.25 times 10 to the minus seven. Okay. So let me write that down so I don't lose track of it. Okay. And then what we can do is we can estimate the spacing then for R 
by taking the cube root of that. So Okay, so then we get 0 0.005 micrometers. So the cube root of this really small number gives us 0 0.005 micrometers. But then if we're gonna go from micrometers, so I'll just, I'll just state that here. So we've got, let me erase a little bit of this and make a little bit of room here. Or I'll just do a cube root sign here. So we have a cube root here. And then that gets rid of, and that's the same thing as taking this whole thing to the one third in your calculator. So you take this value to the one third in your calculator and that gets you that R is equal to 0 0.005 micrometers. Now, a micrometer is a thousand times bigger than a nanometer. So how many nanometers is this? Well, it's 0 0.005 times a thousand. So it's going to be five nanometers. So that's how big R is going to be in nanometers. Since it's 0 0.005 micrometers, it's five nanometers. And then we said the spacing was 2R. So the spacing is going to be equal to 10 nanometers. And that's your answer for this problem. So that means that the spacing between each of these little proteins within this bacterium is about 10 nanometers. So that tells us how to solve this kind of a problem. Okay, and so that's the solution.